Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're here for another Lego set review. This is the Lego Friends Olivia's House, set number 3315. Here you build Olivia's house along with some really cool accessories. Uh, this build contains three minifigures and contains, as you can see here, two booklets with this set. This set is also a retired set as of now. Let's go ahead and take a look at the minifigures. So this set comes with three minifigures total. Lego Friends sets are different than regular Lego figure sets. So we're going to take a look at Olivia right here, Anna, and Peter one by one. And let's just take a look. So here is Olivia. Um, I want to say that this is not the actual shirt this set comes with. Mine uh, broke, so I had to have to find a new shirt. Um, and then I lost the other shirt, so now I had to find a spare Lego shirt. So I just used this one from an advent calendar I had a long time ago. Um, Olivia does have rubber hair, and it does fall, so I do have to be careful. Um, and this is the skirt that it comes with. I love the details on the um, sandals here. And her face is kind of a little loose, so I need, like I said, I do need to find a new... Olivia figure because of that. If I do find a spare Lego head, that might work, but I don't have one, so um, this will do. But anyway, that is Olivia. Let's move on to the next figure. Our next one is Anna, the mom. Anna has a lot of details. As you can see, look at her makeup here. She's got a lot of makeup on, and look at her uh, shirt. And it's got all these details, the belt detail, the necklace, all that. It just looks really, really nice, and I like that. Like Olivia's, her hair is made of rubber. And she's got a long skirt on with some red sandals, and I think that's just really compliments her well. So that is Anna. Let's move on to the last figure. Last but sincerely not least, we have Peter, the dad. Peter is different from the uh, other Legos because figures because he has plastic hair instead of rubber hair. Um, I do like the details on his face here and he's got a suit and a tie on and he's just got that nice look to it. You can see here this is kind of old. He's got a crack in the back of his trousers. I know um, this set's really, really old. So um, like I did mention, this is a retired set. So that's why I played with this set a lot as a kid. And I just thought now is a good time to review them. But enough chitter, chitter chatter. Let's get on with the set review. So here is the house. Um, there is a lot of accessories to this set. Um, so we're going to take a look at each section, and then we'll flip it around back to take a look at the inside of the house. This set is full of stickers, as you can see. We've got some stickers around here. Let's see if I can get this to focus. There we go. We've got uh, stickers there, stickers there, the address, stickers up here, and a sticker right there. And if we, let's take a look at the outside first. Here we have a swing made out of Technic plates. We have a little tree branch right here, just a random tree branch. And this is a blue spatula, so it comes with different kinds of kitchen accessories, which you'll see later on the video, but this is one of them. And there's a chicken leg on the grill here, and the grill kind of closes up. That's kind of difficult to do that because this fence post is in the way. We've got a little table here with a glass and barbecue. There's supposed to be a hot dog inside. I could not find a hot dog break for the life of me. We've got some flowers over here. This is what I was talking about in the Snow White set, how they came with those like little bricks in the Lego front set. It comes with like these rose petals. It was just in a bag and you'll kind of see more of them, of the flowers as we progress on the video. But these are one of the flowers I was talking about. We've got a random sunflower here, and we've got another flower here as well. We also have a lawnmower that is, oops, that is not attached to anything, so I think that's really, really cool. Kind of like an interactive set, kind of. 
To our right here, oh, this closes, so it's a door, obviously. Um, to our right, we have a mailbox with a sticker on it. This opens up and it comes with a letter inside. Now, the Lego Friends letters are different than the original. You can see here, it's got different, this is printed, by the way. Close that up. You can easily slide that in, like so. Over here we have a carrot patch with some, it looks like spinach, I guess. <laughs> um, I always called it spinach as a kid, but um, so we have that. We also have some ladybug bricks here from the rose petals, kind of like I mentioned earlier, that um, bag of bricks. We also have some torches here to kind of like torch awnings up here. At the top we have some more windows and some windows down here as well, you can see here. We have a cat, you get a cat with this set, and you make this little awning, this porch kind of thing, and this cat comes with the set as well. Here's the roof, um, and with the butterfly at the top, you can see there's a random butterfly there. And up here we've got the porch with a umbrella, a thing that um, spins and can move. And it comes with this um, flower here that has those flowers from that bag I was talking about. These kind of look like poinsettias. So let's move this around to the back and take a look at the interior of the set. All right, so here's the back of the set. This is kind of like um, a dollhouse, I would say. So it's kind of like meant for younger children, but um, I still have my old set, so. We're reviewing it anyways, so let's take a look at the kitchen here. Um, we've got a table with an apple and some cherries and a cupcake. These these plates and this cupcake all came in a bag and they are that, um, what's it called? They're just kitchen accessories. It came in a bag of kitchen accessories, so you get that. And let's see if I can get this to focus. There we go. We have here salt and pepper shakers with a refrigerator on top of this refrigerator with a sticker on it. There's another sticker right here. Let's see if I can get this to open, to say the least. Oh, I don't know. I don't have fingernails, so there we go. Okay. Inside there is a milk jar. And the milk jar is printed on there, so that's kind of cool. Close that up. To the left here we have a blender with a mixer from that bag of kitchen accessories along with a bowl and two more cupcakes. In these drawers here are silverware that come with the accessories. We have a sink here and a stove with a pan and you can open this up. This is the oven with a tray inside. Got another sticker right there if you can see it with some cleaning supplies. And if we move on to the right over here, we got the living room. Here's some more of those flowers from the bag. We've got, um, looks like they're poinsettias, or poinsettias, I guess. I know they look like the ones up at the top, but these kind of have a deep dish to it kind of thing. I know that sounds weird to say, but it's true. So we have a table here for the living room. We have a couch here as well with a photo of Olivia. This is actually what Olivia's shirt's supposed to look like right here. So, um, that kind of gives you a good idea of what the shirt's supposed to look like. We have a TV over here. It kind of rotates, kind of doesn't. Um, kind of see it. Kind of does. That chair here. Now, this does rotate, so you can rotate this. Let's move on. We've got Olivia's bedroom right here. We've got her makeup station with a trophy sticker. Um, is there anything inside here? I don't think so. Um, check. No. We got a brush up there and a couple perfumes. Chair. We got a bed. This is a new accessory. This is a purse. Um, and I think that's kind of cool. We've got a lamp and a little shelf here which contains a book. So this appears to be her diary got a sticker on it. I put the stickers on. Um, so oh, if I can stick that in there. Oh no. <laughs> Fingers can't fit through there. There we go. 
is kind of how it's supposed to fit. That's the bedroom. Let's move on to the next room. We have here the bathroom. Um, got these tiles all over the place. We've got a sink, toilet. There I am. <laughs> We've got a mirror and some drawers. And over here we got the shower. There's a sticker there as well. These are like garage doors. I've used them in them in a oh my god, oh my gosh. I've used them in another set, which you guys get to look at in another episode, so stay tuned for that. And that kind of is the interior here. One thing you can also do with this set, if I can turn it around and kind of do this. There we go. Oh my goodness, there we go. You can rearrange how the house looks. You don't have to make it look like this. I just made it look like this because it was the set. Um, but you can take these apart, like so, if I can. And you can, like I said, kind of make it stack up six stories tall. You can kind of do whatever you want with it. But um, I'm just going to put this back for now as the set shows. If I can... Oh no. Here we go again. <laughs> there we go. Now let's come up with a rating for this set. For this set, I give it an 8 out of 10, mainly because um, with, the, with the Olivia doll, when I got her, it wasn't as sturdy as I thought it was, so I had to go buy another set, which we'll review later on, probably in the next episode actually, to get a matching shirt to help withstand um, the figure. Um, another thing is I wish it was a little bigger, but hey, it is what it is. Um, I still like the set either way. Um, I wish maybe the um, these weren't like tower bricks. Maybe they were like, um, what's it called? Bricks that kind of give it that house feel, which we'll reuse some of those sets that kind of look like that later on. Um, there is a lot of accessories which I enjoy putting together, um, so that's always nice as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and stay tuned for more LEGO set reviews.